Today it's time to be getting work on floor three of the Naboo neighborhood, which is a really, really fun name. If you don't know, we're building Star Wars modulars for the Lego city. I think this is part like 30 something now. The city's been worked on for, well, over a year at this point. We ordered the first parts for it last year after building the Friends modular tower after starting it. I think we'd only built the central perk and we're now onto Star Wars themes. Naboo started off with the hangar room for the castle. Then we went on to Padme's throne room, got some really cool shots of the Padme minifigure by the window and also built a little otter gunga down the side. Now we are building Padme's lake house from Naboo, another iconic location that will have a balcony so we can switch up the shape of it once again and that will also overlook what looks like the lake but will actually be last week's Otaganga. so i'm really excited to get this to work and i can't wait to see how exactly this turns out but first off we have a few uninvited guests in padme's throne room now these are all from the moss Isley cantina down here and i just didn't put them away last time i needed them for i think it was a shawl no it was a video where we gave all of my clone troopers some alien heads and built an army of alien clone troopers so not quite clone troopers but just a grand army of the alien republic which was a really fun video if you did want to check that out after this one i will leave that on the end screen as well as the playlist for the other city videos so i'm gonna whack them back in the moss Isley cantina and then i think We'll take the tower to the desk so we can start working on Padme's lake house. And unlike usually where we slowly build this throughout the day, I've actually already built this. I took a bit of break from recording. I have the lake house to put on top of the Naboo neighborhood tower. And I think you can see a better image of how the shape is changing as we go up. Heavily inspired by some of the new creator and city modulars that we've seen. Again, we've got a few ugly surfaces, but you're not going to see these from the front. So that really isn't a problem for me. Should probably push that down a bit. And now let's take a look at the lake house as well as probably another little look at the others. If you haven't seen, we've got videos on both of these already, but we have the hangar at the bottom with a few little N1s. This is the throne room with the giant window at the back, a little Otagunga at the side. And then the top of this is acting sort of like the lake for the balcony of the lake house and then inside we've got a few fun little bits so first off the biggest thing you'll notice is the long table there is an overly long table i guess if they've got a load of guests being naboo royalty but the lake house didn't seem to be some royal establishment it was more like a holiday home so perhaps padme's got quite a large family we do see a few siblings and her parents in the deleted scene i don't think it makes it to the movie but as you can see long table two chairs one at either end and i've also got the fireplace in the corner which is i think one of only two interiors we see we might see a little bit more but it's mainly that long table and then the fireplace scene and i've actually given this floor doors before we get onto the details on the balcony the doors do close which it doesn't look great when the doors are shut. It does seem a bit closed off. But I like the fact there are doors because a lot of times it's just these open areas and the doors definitely add something to the modular. They are hinged on clip and bar plates so they can stay open and I'll probably keep them open in the Lego City. The balcony I'm really happy with. To get the details on these front bits here, I've just reversed the way a tile goes around. You can see it's smooth on the inside and on the outside, we've got that really nice pattern. And then we've got, I think I picked these pieces up off the, these are actually from Hogwarts, I think. I think I got some white ones off the pick a brick wall, which is always useful when it comes to these sort of buildings. I'd definitely love to revisit one if they've got a few more tan bricks, but I don't live close to a Lego store. So it's not that easy just to go all that way for a pab box because the journey doesn't really make it worth it unless I'm there for hours and spend a full day doing it. So perhaps sometime in the future, we've also got these little flowers on the balcony, which I think is just a really nice touch. Initially, I tried to make this hinge door a lot smaller, only four studs. It didn't work at all. You can see this is a six stud wide door, 
three studs on each door. Perhaps I could have done one door, but even then it would have had to been at least five to be able to get a minifigure in between. I probably could have pushed for and then got a few leaves up the side, but it doesn't seem to work. Perhaps I can add some snot bricks next week onto this wall and add a few leaves. That actually would work really, really cool. So I'll make note of that. Add some leaves using snot bricks on this wall. It'll cover the windows, but it looks more like what we see in universe. And I did notice that the actual lake house itself is half real and half CGI. You can see the squares with the red roof are the real buildings. And then there's two round buildings with green roofs, which we are gonna add next week on top of here, which are actually completely computer generated on top. But this modular's looking really cool. And now it's time to place this into the Lego city. It really does look so much better than the Tatooine Tower. You can see that is just a chunk of tan bricks. That will have to be changed. And Tatooine isn't too dissimilar to Naboo, I feel, with some of the shapes, perhaps a bit less colorful and a bit more stony, as you can see. But we can definitely make that work. And I'd like to explore that. Perhaps when we do the Friends Tower again, I can add, perhaps even just extend the little balcony bit, the awning at the front of the central perk. Just add a few different shapes and encourage myself to do the same on the side. Lo-Fi Girls Apartment is probably as good as it can be, but I'll just switch it up as we build up the towers, especially with this Lego store. I want to revisit this inspired by Galaxy's Edge, and that is very spirey with a load of different columns of rock so that's going to look really really interesting i think this makes a very cool addition to where the city's at we are switching it up and we've just probably got to crowd control a little bit out the front so one more week and the tower will be complete also let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to add to the city as far as minifigures go i'm still working that out i'm not quite at a position to add custom minifigures to the city I'll probably work something out in the future where you can donate to get a specific minifigure placed around and have some tower for it. Let's get all the Star Wars modulars out of the way first because we've only just completed the city and I've already torn it down to make room for new Star Wars modulars. So there will be something in the future, few months time. Hang on, it will be worth the wait. And again, hopefully a few of the new Star Wars modulars now look really, really cool. With all the different shapes we are tackling, the next modular is going to take so much advantage from this way of design, I guess. I don't really know what else to call it. It's just not squaring off Lego sets, which isn't as hard as it sounds considering they're usually built using squared off bricks. It's a lot easier building round objects and triangular shapes in Lego than it is in Minecraft. So thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. Be sure to check out these videos that YouTube thinks you'll like on screen now and may the bricks be with you always.